Hello guys, welcome back. This is grind time. Just got off work, got home. Uh, getting ready to hit the war for today. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Mini cons and cassettes and all that stuff were released. Uh, let's see, I did get a four star flak. Currently got him on my cup. Three star Taraxodon, who I think we're having some glitches with right now. 3-star Night Stalker, 3-star Ravage, 3-star Fire Drive, 3-star Flak. I don't have to read them. You guys can see them. It's the ones I've got so far. Still trying to figure out the best ways to use them. So today we are in a war against Legion Legends. So far we're uh, pretty much even. A little bit ahead. And this is a Prime League War. So, without further ado, sorry I didn't get a video out this weekend. I grinded the whole event. I finally finished the event last night. Uh, I had just a few, I was like, I don't know, four or five victories away from, um, of course we're going to activate Victorian for the war, uh, from finishing the event and I fell asleep. <laughs> Uh, 50,000, was a 50,000 point event or whatever it was, and I fell asleep just a few battles before, and I happened to wake back up just in time, and I had just enough fuel cells uh, that I was able to finish it, and uh, so I finished the event this weekend. Uh, I hate leaving leaving stuff on the table like that, so I always try to finish them, even those big ones, although those 50,000 ones I typically don't, so if you guys haven't watched one of my war videos before, uh, Sentius is my clearer, it's kind of a sacrifice bot because he does not follow prime orders very well. So I drop him down here to kind of clear things out, take a lot of damage. And then, uh, whether he follows or not, I, I really don't care. Um, he's not all that concerning to me. Sorry, Sentius. So I'm going to send Star Saber over here. I'm going to send Elita up here. And I'm going to swipe back across, which triggers everything. I could probably walk this base without Combiner, but it's Prime League. It's war. I don't want to screw up, so I always bring my Combiner and use her. Plus, I've worked hard enough to get her. I can, I should uh, use her any chance I get, right? So we're going to put her there. Going to reflect again. And I'm just going to let her wear down here to the Noble Sacrifice. Oh, no. Oh, my recorder got in the way. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> it's cool. We're st we'll, we'll still be fine. Just using Prime again to pull everyone up. <laughs> Went to hit that Noble Sacrifice and pulled up my video controller thing. Man. <laughs> All right, so base one down. <laughs> uh, you can hear my kids arguing in the other room. They're playing Skippo. <laughs> Still enjoying their uh, quarantine from school. <laughs> uh, they're doing they're doing well, but uh, yeah, as with anybody locked up with somebody else this long, they they need breaks every now and then, even whenever they're trying to enjoy the time together. <laughs> Uh, enjoyed Easter yesterday with him. Had a good time. My middle daughter and I cooked dinner and made breakfast for everyone for dinner. I was, had a, actually had a ham, but uh, she wanted to make breakfast, so I said, okay, let's make breakfast then. Okay, so we're going to use Sentius again here to clear out this stuff down here and hopefully make sure my bot's path where I want them to go. Let's clean out that. Oh, Scourge. We're still going to go ahead and launch. And I'm going to launch Star Saber. Uh-oh. We got stunned. Oh, we got stunned again. I'm going to launch Lita. Then we're going to launch Vicky. Hopefully we popped all the outpost spots. I should have... Taking a little bit closer look at where those were, but it's all right. Send her up to that. 
The reason why I choose those uh, whenever they're on the wings like that is because typically it's hard uh, to get them destroyed without splitting the team up more than what I like to do. So um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get another one off. So I typically just uh, I try to grab whatever's on the, the edge there with uh, Elita. Or I mean, I'm sorry, not Elita, uh, my combiner. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, pull it in that way. So now it's just a matter of destroying that base and base two is down let's see here base two down <clears throat> how are you guys liking the new mini cons and cassettes you got them all figured out yet <laughs> i've been watching uh, alpha primes videos over and over again and uh, uh of course uh, Sunstreaker was doing his live streams every day uh, during the the lockdown. <clears throat> it's been great, been able to talk to those two guys who uh, who test these things and you know Alpha Prime is fantastic at breaking down the numbers and looking at it that way. And uh, Sunstreaker Waza, of course, uh, as far as strategies go and and uh, combinations, he's great. And the great thing and and. And the thing that's frustrating for me, but it's also, I mean, it's, it's the benefit, but it's also frustrating for me is, is that these things, th there is no like, uh, one bot for these guys. I mean, it's all about how you play, how you want to use them and, you know, all this kind of stuff, which is great because it, it, I mean, it's infinite, right? Like you can do, gosh, you can do anything with these guys. But for me, what's frustrating is I'm, I'm kind of a, uh, Oh, I don't know how to explain it. My, I guess my imagination isn't quite as strong as some people's. <laughs> I almost rather like, you know, when they had the bot-specific cores come out. Optimus, Primes, Matrix, whatever. Great, I'm going to get that. I'm going to put it on Optimus. Well, not too long after I did that, you know, people were breaking it down. Some people were uh, felt pretty strong that it actually wasn't the best core option for Optimus. Uh, whatever They felt it was a TAC core or, you know, whatever it was. Uh, they just felt like there was, oops, I missed my, they just felt like there were better options, you know, and for me, it's like I didn't even consider that. I just saw it was Optimus Prime's Matrix, the core just for Optimus Prime. Of course, it's got to go on Optimus Prime and, uh, you know, didn't give it another thought. So uh, <clears throat> that's why, it's, you know, these mini cons and, and, and even the power cores to some extent, uh, sometimes they can be frustrating for me because uh i look at him and i'm like i'm not sure if i've got this you know the best way it could be i don't know if i've got the right core on the right bot or the right mini con with the right bot or you know whatever uh and it just takes practice and playing with them and luckily we've got a great uh community of players a large community of players uh, and there's a whole lot of information out there you can find and um, whether it's just reading from the websites or watching the youtubers or <clears throat> whatever it may be you can find the information out there and see a lot of that stuff, um, which is very helpful for somebody like me. All right, so looking at this base, I'm gonna try a cut pull on this one. We'll see if it works. I'm gonna run him right up there. And we're just gonna bounce and bounce. Launch all the other troops. Come on, Prime. Come on, Prime. There we go. Oh, man. I'm not quite going to make it, doesn't look like. So I got Star Saber up there, but <clears throat> it's still going to be tough. Oh, I don't want you to walk that way. Yes, I want you up there. Kind of do some damage on those torrents. Oh, I missed it again. Not a good day for me. Try to clear some of that out. Oh, it didn't work. And now I got Prime up there and I don't have anything to, I don't have enough. Here, let's pull him. Yes. 
Okay. Should be fine now. Whew. That one was close. I about screwed that one up. Good base. That was tough. What was that? Base four? Oops, not base R. Base four. Fat fingers. And for the commander, Let's see what they offer us. I'm excited to give the uh, the elimination mode another go this week. <clears throat> kind of been waiting for it. I think I've got it figured out a little bit better after last week. I think I'm gonna be able to gather a lot more the energon. It's hard for me not to rush my uh, HQ17 stuff, but. Uh, Really working hard on just letting that stuff cook slow and, you know, not rushing it. So, okay, so I think we're just going to go ahead and launch now on this side. I don't know why I always pick that side. That's just the side I normally pick. Prime is lower than I would like. Okay, let's launch. <clears throat> Go. Reflect damage. Try to take down that. There we go. And then we're just going to sit right here until it's noble sacrifice time. Like now. There we go. Now Prime's here. Let's pull everyone up. Then I'm actually going to bounce. Well, let's see. Wait just a second here. Oh my. Back from the dead, huh? Bounce cup over there to take out. Well, didn't need to. All right, great. <clears throat> that was it. That's all. Let's bring on the next one. Another war done. Prime League level. Done my part this time. Didn't uh, screw up any launches or bat finger anything or anything like that. So, ready to go. So, as you can see, I'm still working on farming. Might as well get a, another battle or two in while my well, my combiner's activated. This was the team I was power leveling with. I was moving my 5-star hot rod up some. But let's go here. Let's take this team in and let's do 19, that level, whatever that zone is right there. I think the next thing I'm going to upgrade, uh, I've just about got all my storages done. All my walls are up to 16, HQ 16 level. And then I think the next thing I'm going to do is my ore. Uh, off the advice of uh, Sunstreaker. Watching him play and listening to his reasoning. It makes sense to me that that's what needs to be done next. So I'm going to do that. That way I can hold more and all that stuff. Did that? That didn't have a combiner in it? Okay, just going to see if we can pull all the way over here. Starting to get in a jam, we'll pull out Victorion. This squad isn't too far from being able to do this, this level on their own as it is. Uh, I just normally go one underneath, but I'm just farming. I don't like to take a whole bunch of risks because, you know, you got, got to get the, got to get the goods, right? So... I don't typically go uh, higher than the recommended squad level. And there we go. Fast forward button gets it done. I'll 
I'll show you as soon as I get back to my base. I'm frustratingly close to being able to upgrade my walls now, but um, just off. I gotta wait for my last. You see, I've got 9,100,000. This last storage is still two weeks away, and to upgrade my walls now is 94. So, or 9,400,000. So, I'm just, just too short on that. And there are my combiners. Well, let's just let's just run a team for the fun of it here while we've got a combiner. Might as well. We'll go back to the squad I was power level and just take him off. And we'll throw in drift. And we'll go fifteen. There. Let's try whatever that fifteen thousand zone is. I think it's zone thirteen. It might be too much for these guys, but we'll give it a shot and see what happens. This is just for fun anyway. All right, so if we just launch all three of them up there, send drift, send wind blade, send wind blade again, then we'll launch the combiner because I think that should have triggered all the outpost bots. Not that the outpost bots is the is the only concern for this little squad in this high zone, but it's obviously a huge concern. Let's see, this little group of three is pretty out outmatched on this level, but we'll still give it a go. Stun it all. Look at that, we might actually get it. Holy smokes. Let's get Drift in there to help. They got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot, I can show you that Minicon I've got on a Hot Rod now. Oh, and I don't know if you guys have seen this yet or not. I kind of stumbled on it on accident. I don't recall hearing anyone talk about it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So my five-star hot rod. And the reason why I was working with him is just because he was one of my first ones I got. Uh, there's no power core on him right now because I had a uh, uh, oh, one of those XP cores on him over the weekend. But I noticed up top now they got this new tab here in the middle equipment. thought that was pretty snazzy. I had never noticed that before. You can click right there on equipment. It shows what power core and mini con or mini bot or cassette or whatever you got on them. And then of course you still got the regular little bio one. But uh, I thought that was pretty snazzy right there. I like that. That way you can read a little more about what he does. This shoots five rockets each, revealing 15% of the bot's DPS value. Now, I haven't leveled him up. You can see he's at level one because <clears throat> he's my three star. Um, I'm not real sure on just how how hard it's going to be to get these get these guys or get this uh, uh, you know the spark or whatever to, to upgrade them with so as you can see I'm back up to 91,000 on that spark um, I did take my four star who's on my cup uh, he's up to level six and to level him up again is 97 so I'm kind of hanging on to it right now uh, trying to see what, uh, what what comes along, and you know, I'm, with three star bots, I, I really don't sink anything into them um, anymore. Uh, so I don't know if the, if these guys are going to be. I don't think these guys are going to be the same way though, because you know you can have. Um, let's say you had a five star flak, five or four star flak, three star flak, two star flak. I mean, you could have all of those on one team going out there all at one time. So I think they're all going to be worth leveling up. Um, I'm just trying to save some of that in case I happen to get another four star one soon. I can go ahead and uh, you know get that guy leveled up. So before I go let's take a look in the oven see who's cooking. We have on the Autobot side, do I have an Autobot cooking? Yes. Uh, Jetfire Sky Striker. Got that enhanced ordnance G metal on him, which I think does pretty well on him. 
Got him cooking. He still got a day. And then on my Decepticon side, it's my Cynthia's Malice. Um, I think I'm going to start taking my Decepticons up past level 5. I've got my 4 stars all up to level 5. <clears throat> uh, because, uh, you know, I didn't want to take them too high because you can't war with them um, or anything like that. So I just had my 4 stars up to 5 and then the 3 stars that are really useful like Dead End, Deathosaurus, Scourge. These guys are, were what I was having to use to power level my 4 stars for a while. Um, so I went ahead and bumped them up some. But now with the Elimination Mode, uh, your faction side, mine being my cons, they're actually very useful. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really worth um, leveling them up. So I think I'm going to start moving them up past this level 5 and actually building them up so that's it guys um you know thanks for watching please uh, like and subscribe leave your comments uh, suggestions gripe moans complaints whatever you got there in the comments and uh until next time <laughs>